now remember this is Burger King and you can have it your way well they don't have Father, Son and Holy Spirit on the menu they don't have any deliverance on the menu they don't have uh, salvation on the menu they don't have gifts of the spirit they don't have a word of knowledge they don't have um, words of wisdom they don't have prophecy and speaking in tongues and interpretation of tongues I'm looking at this menu and I'm like hmm how come we think that it's okay to come to God's house and treat it like Burger King have it your way God's house is not like Burger King you cannot have it your way Saints think about that. I'm gonna come to Burger King and order um, a Big Mac and Fries no never mind. I want onion rings and instead of the soda I want one of them Twix shakes. Wait a minute. I changed my mind. Hold on. Wait a minute. I want one of them Oreo pies uh, You know what? Maybe I should get a salad. That's probably more conducive to my diet you know, they got side orders and beverages and everything. But uh, what makes you think you can go to church and, and have it your way? Because you can have it your way at uh, Burger King? Let me tell you what. God's house is not Burger King, first and foremost. You cannot go up to the little ordering uh, stand. <laughs> How can I take your order? May I take your order today, ma'am? Yeah, I want some Jesus up in here. And, and, you know, you might walk up to that menu and uh, order a little um, Holy Spirit on the side. I don't want a whole lot. I just want a side of Holy Spirit. Because if I get a whole order of Holy Spirit, I'm going to have to change my ways. Saints, what, how is it that we can walk up into church and just think we can have it our way? There's no reverential fear of the Lord. There's no... There's no respect for God's house. There's no honor. Jesus said, My Father's house is a house of prayer. It is not for the thieves and the robbers. He went into the temple and he run the money changers out. But no, I want to come to Burger King and have it my way. And I'm so conditioned to looking at the menu. Oh look, today we can get two for six bucks. Yeah, six is the number of man. Let me just buy me some, mmm. I'll buy one now and one for later. Why don't I just get me a little bit of Holy Ghost for now and then, you know, later on down the road, um, I'll have a little more Holy Ghost. Wait a minute, under beverages, why don't I just get me some, mmm. Oh, let me see, why don't I have a side of, hmm, salvation. I don't, I don't want to be completely saved because uh, I don't want to repent. I just want to think that I'm saved. And, um, you know, if I'm just thinking that I am, and some preacher told me if I just say Jesus, uh, you know, come into my heart. Yeah, he said, listen, you can't have it your way. It's got to be my way or it's the highway. See, he paid the price, saints. You can order anything on God's menu because Jesus paid the price. But what you have to do in order to order off God's menu is obey the word of God. So when you go into church on Sunday, don't think you can have it your way. It's going to be his way or it's going to be the highway. And I know some of you love Burger King and that's wonderful. You can have pickles and onions and lettuce and cheese and whatever else you want on your burger but when it comes to the lord you cannot have it your way it is not burger king he is the king of kings he is the lord of lords and it's going to be his way not yours and if you don't know what his way is then why don't you try getting in the word and you'll know what his way is and then that way when you go to church on sunday morning or when you're in your private time with the lord you won't say well you lord i just want a little bit of this and a little bit of that like, i just want a little tiny bit of the old testament i want all the new testament where my sins are washed away 
that's wonderful, saints. They are washed away. But if you keep going back to them like a dog to his vomit or a pig to her waller, yeah, think about that. No, you don't want to. I know. I understand. It's just easier just to order it like you're at Burger King. And I'll have a little bit of salvation, tiny dab of uh, deliverance on the side. And uh, I'll tell you what, Lord, I'll go to church on Christmas and Easter. How's that? Uh, yeah. This ain't Burger King. It's God's rules. And he rules. He is the king. So enjoy your hamburger. Enjoy your chicken sandwich. Enjoy your big K fish. Ah, and have it your way. How is that working for you, saints? How is that working for you? Have it your way. Yeah. Let me know how that works out for you, saints. I encourage you today. If you are truly spirit-filled and born again and you belong to the Lord of Lords and the King of Kings, you know that he is the King. You will go up into his house and his assembly or you even in your private time and you will worship him. You will adore him. You will reverence him. You will respect him. You will honor him and you will keep his commandments. Remember, saints, the whole idea is that you were made to worship the Lord. You were created to worship him. You have an audience of one. So when you decide you want to go and order off the menu, you can have anything on God's menu. He's made it all available to you. And all you got to do is ask. But I can guarantee you, the price has been paid, but now you have to obey. He paid the ticket price, now you have to obey. First and foremost... The New Testament says, Love the Lord thy God with all thy heart, mind, will, and soul. Love your neighbor as yourself. And you can hang the law and the prophets on these two. Enjoy, enjoy, enjoy. <sighs> but you're not going to have it your way. I love you. God bless you. Have a wonderful day. His way, not your way. To God be the glory. I plead and apply the blood of Jesus over you. It's sister with a testimony at the Burger King.